We're not drinking out of the bottle because we are classy, thank you. It's been nearly a year since I sat down and talked to the camera like this, um, so I figured the best way to do that would be to do a mukbang! Woo! I have always wanted to do a mukbang. I watch them a lot. And no, I don't pronounce it mukbang, because why the fuck? It's mukbang. And I watch them all the time. I eat dinner with Trisha Petas every night. Um, and so now, I invite you all, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a coffee, grab a meal, Grab your forks and sit down in front of your screen. Maybe set some candles, set the mood. People in front. Oh, fucking shit, this is hard. So, the food that I will be eating today comes from Buddha's Vegetarian in Toronto, Ontario, right near good old Dunbat. And it is one of the best vegan Chinese places that I've ever eaten at. A wonderful option to eat good traditional Chinese food. Asian cuisine without killing living beings. So I totally recommend if you live in the Toronto area, try out Buddhist Vegetarian. You won't regret it. If you're a meat eater, if you're a vegetarian, if you're vegan, if you're pest, go there. I'm waiting for my sponsorship from them. <laughs> this is the soup broth. It didn't survive great in my bike basket as I bike to pick up this meal. The ginger beef. Oh, oh, oh. This is so heavy. Duck. It's mock duck. I've never eaten duck to begin with, but why not start now? This is just duck in a lot of noodles. This... I'm very hungry. It's good. What a weird thing. So, I asked you guys on Instagram to please ask me some questions, suggest some discussion topics, that I can talk about while I eat because that's the whole point of a mukbang. I'm just trying to create some nice dinner chat, some nice lively conversation. And if you guys don't know my Instagram, it's right here. Please give it a follow. Okay, let's try this veggie beef. Mmm, I love ginger. Such a good flavor. Mmm. So Emma asks, how was life for you when you were in Montreal? Um, okay, I've been kind of since it's been a year since I moved out there, um, and it's been like a f several months since I've moved back, I've kind of had time to collect my thoughts about my overall first year experience. I The reason I, I switched schools and I moved back here to Toronto and I'm now living downtown Toronto, which has been fucking fantastic. I didn't enjoy Montreal as much as I thought I would. I don't know if it was because I wasn't in the right state of mind when I moved out there, which I definitely feel like I wasn't now. I was in a long distance relationship, so I was very much tied to life back here in Toronto. I did meet a good handful of people who are really great and I really hope we cross paths again in the future because they're awesome. I don't think I was in the place to start a new life in somewhere else, so I didn't really put in as much effort as I should have. Um, socially, but I'm very happy with my decision. I just completed my first week of classes at OCAD in Toronto, and I'm so stoked on that. Thoughts on the school system slash how it makes you feel from my friend Anjane. Great question because I did struggle with this a lot as an art student. Because art is such a subjective stream to pursue, like math, science, biology, there is a definitive answer to what you're you know, doing and whatever you're evaluated on. In art, there's not. Like you make something and it's deemed effective, not effective, good or bad by like one professor out of how many people in the world. I did struggle with this for a while and I did actually really want to drop out of school, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't. It's cool that school, it's cool that school gives you some direction, which is nice. Um, it gives you different like prompts to create work. I think I'm supposed to put this inside of this. Oh! Oh wait, thumbnail. <laughs> That's great. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> That's great. Anyways, my thoughts on school. It's, it's, you got, you gotta be really considerate of the fact that it's so subjective, but it also gives you some good direction and some theoretical practices and a different level of education than if you were to just practice by yourself. I ordered also a veggie shrimp, so it's like fake shrimp. I'm really excited to try that because I've never had that before. I think it should be in this container. I only got the three dishes. This is just more duck. I don't, 
Hello? You in there? Um, um, if, uh, if- I don't think they gave me shrimp. So we just have some beef and a whole f ton of duck. A lot of fucking duck. A lot of fucking duck. I'll DM you my address. Please come help me finish this duck. Actually, maybe I should invite Alex over. Alex is coming. Good. Alex is here. Why is it so big? We'll bite it. I killed her in my dream brutally, and then I found out she was dating my ex. Anyways, um... Are you gonna put this in? If you could talk to your younger self, what would you say? Don't. In this past year- Grow up! Yep. Yeah. If we're gonna get to some real talks here, because that's what mukbangs are for, um, I've learned a lot in the past year about relationships, because it's, it was kind of my first serious relationship. And I've definitely learned that, like, the most important thing I would tell myself is just because someone says they love you doesn't mean they respect you. <laughs> that part. That's not the one. At least you respect me. But you have to learn how to distinguish that. Important I feel like real too. love is always requires respect. It always requires respect first and foremost. You set boundaries and communicate. Communication is such an important thing. Also, like, setting boundaries for, like, how often you see each other, or like what just like person, yeah, what you expect in the relationship, like making sure you guys are on the same page. Cause I didn't set boundaries until it was too late. Um, and that's a huge learning thing, like to be able to set what you're okay with, what you're not okay with, um, and realize that and make the appropriate actions based on that. <laughs> Actual duck isn't appealing to me. You said you never tried it. What's your favorite kind of weather and why? Fall. That's not a weather. <laughs> <laughs> duck. Shut up, auntie. No, I'm asking you. You don't need to know. This has been something cool that I've defined for myself recently. It worked to me is alchemy because you can take shitty things that have happened to you, good things that have happened to you, any of your life experiences and transform them to something tangible and something like for others to enjoy. So it's literally like the best form of alchemy. Where like if something like I've always used it as that. Something really bad has happened to me, I can turn it into a stunning piece. I make money off of that. You break my heart, I make money. Bada bing bada boom. I also <laughs> think for me it's like a way to express like my inner thoughts and it's hard to do that with words sometimes so like portraying difficult concepts through in like visual form because not all your experiences can be written in a, in a coherent precise way so it can be shown kind of in a more tangible way which is a lot of fun we're trying to get a grant from the government <laughs> y'all mind Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Self love means loving yourself. You're welcome. Yeah. We figured it out. Mm -hmm. Go to the self help section and chapters, fucking idiots. God. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you all. This has been a wonderful meal. Um, let me know in the comments below what did you eat with this meal? And yep.